Okay, we are here at um, GGSS Government Secondary School, Guagua, FCT Abuja. Today we are having our closeout for the 200 girls that has been trained on the War Reef Educational School program. So unlike the previous engagement that will come around to sensitize um, 200, 300 students from across eight schools, um, this is unique and what makes this unique is um, sensitizing 200 girls in one school um, for four days. So, um, and you know that WARIF as a passionate organization has done this across eight secondary schools um, in Nigeria. Um, this is WARIF Educational School Program, which um, help young girls to identify signs um, of gender-based violence and also we teach them on how to prevent it. So prevention comes first and also uh, making them self-aware about their communities. When we came in, we found a lot of um, adult disjointed and lack of um, connection among these girls. By the time they were, were living with this um, program, many of these girls are able to connect with themselves, understand that they, they have a common um, issue on gender-based violence and together they can fight and, and um, put an end to it. We started the project um, on the training of trainers' notes. We trained um, some of the teachers in the school and we also train our facilitators um, that we engage on this project. So beyond the engagement that we've had with the students um, in the last two weeks, teachers are also expected to go back to cascade this training to other girls in the school. Knowing fully well that um, there are over 500 or 1,000 girls in the school and we only have a fraction of 200. Um, the cascading will help um, disseminate the information to other girls so that we can have a society free of rape. I learned about ab abuses and the three types of abuses. We have physical abuse, sexual abuse, and verbal abuse. With this information, I'm going to be helpful to other girls wherever I go. I will always stand out for what I have learned and what I have been taught. I will always try to educate them on the right thing to do. That wherever they find themselves, they should not make themselves feel inferior. That they should always come out to speak boldly to other people so that people will not fall into the hands of rapists. We now we all know what is the meaning of abuse. I'm here for the training. My daughter was one of the participators. Oh my God, I learned a lot. I don't really believe in petting children and all that, but with this, I'm, as I go home now, I'm going to be friends with my kids. I'll love them more and I'll listen to them. Like, listen, I'll pay attention to details. Yes, I happen to be that one of my daughters is in this school. So, and uh, also, she's among the people that were selected for the program. And then when she came back home, she showed us a lot of things that were shared. Then we asked her some questions, and she was very excited. And then when we started asking, she started telling us some of the things that she has learned from the program. We are very, very happy about it. Um, thank God for being a participant because I learned a lot. There are things that I have brought to be explicit during this program. I will say to you. If this will help me to be handle my own children because I have young children. So the learning I got from this very program, I will extend it even beyond my family. In, in fact, it has been tremendous, it has been overwhelming in terms of organization, in terms of delivery. Yes, and um, a lot of things has come out of this uh, program. Uh, from my students, some of my teachers who happen to be participants, and of course, even the parents. All this attests to uh, what this program has been all about. Okay, like we would always mention to people out there, um, the issues relating to gender-based violence is not just um, what we should ignore. Gender-based violence is a pandemic and it is a global problem. When I say pandemic, of course, we know it is a global problem and there is need for everybody to be part of this, to lend our voices and to ensure that we speak out and also break the silence. Knowing fully well that this is the month of March where we celebrate the International Women's Month, let's keep breaking the bias. Thank you. And I thank them for bringing it to my school and bringing it to me especially because it will really help me in life. God Almighty to bless them in billion fold. So I really want to you know, appreciate them. I especially want to thank Cummins um, West Africa for giving us this opportunity, for being there for us. Um, we have made a difference in the life of these girls and surely they would never forget. Thank you.